So, here we are again on Freedom Diggers Metal Detecting. And yes, as the title of this video says, I did sell my manticore. Now, before you think I'm crazy, let me just kind of explain a little bit why I did. And uh, <laughs> I sold it to a 13-year-old kid. I mean, his dad's in my group. He came and picked it up. But, uh, yeah. And it, he seems confident that his son's going to be able to handle it. And that'll well, get me right into why I sold it, one of the main reasons. Man, that's a lot of machine to figure out, folks. And as you can tell by my videos and the fact that there's really no editing and there's no fancy pop-ups or intro music or, you know, any of those uh, bells and whistles you're used to on YouTube videos, I'm a low-tech kind of guy. I mean, I really am. I, I paint and fix things for a living. I'm in maintenance. I'm not a tech savvy guy. When I get a new cell phone, it takes, you know, me coming to Nicole and saying, I can't figure this thing out, figure it out. So probably the Manicor was a little bit too hefty of an upgrade for me. I'm coming off of the White's MX Sport and that's a really easy figure out machine. Great machine too. Um, I had to kind of really look at, all right, what is it that made me want to upgrade? What I was looking for in an upgrade was some better target separation, better recovery speed, and maybe a little more custom, custom, blah, blah, customizability, if that's, that's what I'm looking for here word-wise. And you know what? I didn't have to step all the way up to a mana core to get that. That's that's an Equinox 700 compared to an MX Sport 800. I ended up with an Equinox 900. And I've only been on one hunt with it so far, but I'll tell you what. I like the machine a lot. Um, I haven't really customized the discrimination settings on it much yet. But I did do that on Nicole's Equinox 700 that we also picked up. We got both machines for less than I spent on the Manticore. Imagine that one too. Um, and it's not hard to set up a discrimination pattern, customize a program on there. Very easy to set up and easy to use machine compared to the Manticore. A uh, couple other things with the Manticore I just couldn't get past. The machine obviously needs an update. And my lab's already come out and indicated that they're going to be doing an update on the Manticore. But I didn't really want to wait for that. And as often as I hunt, which is not as often as I'd like to, I just, it would take me probably three years to get the Manticore down pat. I mean, at least be able to hunt with it and spend more time enjoying it than I was figuring it out. You're going to have to put in some hours on one of those in order to get to the point where, you know, you're comfortable with it. It seemed like the more I hunted with it, the less comfortable I got with it. That's, that's where I found myself. And I, I was kind of torn between... The Equinox 900 or a Deus 2, and I know a lot of people love the Deus 2, including my dealer, Heath Jones, with History Seekers Metal Detectors. But from what I have heard, the Deus 2 can be a little bit of a handful, too. The learning curve's a little bit steep. I didn't want a steep learning curve. I just wanted to upgrade a few things and definitely, of course, I wanted a lighter weight. I got, I got bad shoulders. I had surgery on this left one a couple years ago. They're just saying it needs surgery again already. Can you believe that? Wish I had a warranty. So I got what I wanted out of the 900. I probably would have gotten out of the 700, but you know, you got to have some self respect. If I went all the way down to the 700, you guys would be raking me over the coals. I stepped down one notch to the 900. Great machine so far, only one hunt. I'm gonna be out with it more. 
And uh, to be honest with you, I might swing the MX Sport now and then. That's what a lot of people say when they first upgrade. Probably won't. It's probably going to end up retired. But I had a great run with it. I'm sure I'll have a great run with the 900. Um, back on the Manicore, like I said, I think it needs an upgrade. Um, it does have that iron falsing issue that I kind of made a video mocking that. That video really wasn't for the purposes of me saying, well, you know, air tests prove it doesn't iron false. I was just kind of poking fun at the whole idea of it. Um, yeah, I hadn't gotten proof yet in my own hands that the thing had that issue, and it does. And there are fixes and tweaks for it that you can do, lowering sensitivity, not ground balancing it, things like that. But in my opinion, um, a $1,600 machine should not, you shouldn't have to monkey with it that much to get it to behave correctly. I'm sure my lab's going to address the issues, get it sorted out. So now I'm swinging the Equinox 900, the Coles with the 700. We're going to get out as often as we can. And I hope that all of you are doing the same thing, getting out there, finding the good stuff. And of course, digging responsibly so we can always keep it dig for your die. I'm going to see you again real soon. Not sure what I'm going to talk about next, but uh, hey, I'll come up with something. I've always got something in, in uh, the works. Might get out and do a little more magnet fishing. Not sure on that. I'd like to do some bottle digging before uh, the woods get too overgrown with thorns and poison ivy. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put out a little video on that too. We'll see. But I definitely will be back. I haven't hung it up yet on the YouTube thing. So, look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. Am I crazy for dropping the manicure or did I make a good decision? All right, we'll see you again. Till next time, dig for your die.